Sup, sup, flappers. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to bring you guys a little something different, right? It's not really about the meta. It's not really about characters, who to pull, who's strong, who's not, teams, builds, whatever. But a little something that's more dear to us, more closer to us as individuals. And I understand that a lot of the times it's very difficult for us to trust in something, just anything in general. And I've noticed, especially when it comes to Mahoyo and uh, a lot of the times characters being released we question them it's our first and most natural instinct as players or just people in general is to question to doubt to disprove or to try and resist whatever it is that is presented to us a good case and I, this hasn't been the first time it's happened right the thing with genshin impact and the game in general is that people have their own idea as to how the game is and how it should function. There are players who really want a certain thing versus players who want actually the exact opposite of certain players. So let me give you guys an example of what I mean. And I, I hope this makes sense, right? For Mahoyo, when they first released Yoimiya. And here's the interesting thing. Even till today, there are players who swear by the fact that Yoimiya is absolutely garbage from C0 to C6. They refuse to acknowledge this character has its own meta, has its own way to be played, and has its own strength that's separate from other more traditional pirates carries and that's completely fine but the problem starts to happen when these people go into communities uh, and then spread the information of you know yoimiya is trash yoimiya is garbage don't pull on yoimiya yoimiya is laughable yoimiya can never stack up to uh, someone like hu tao yoimiya has no damage yoimiya can't clear content properly like it gets more and more absurd but you guys must have come across these people and this is what i'm saying right it's difficult for a new player to come into a space where they're being fed information that's polar opposites of each other and for me as a content creator it's easier to deal with this because i have a voice i have a body of people who watch my content who consume it some enjoy it some just want to poke fun at it it's fine but i have people who support my claims because when yoimiya first came out i looked at her kit i evaluated it i played her i tested her and i said you know what this character actually has potential it's just that mahoyo is trying to develop her into a different type of carry right and i ran the number myself i'm not a numbers guy but i kind of just tested it because i equalize all my characters through gear and investments and i try to equalize their stats as much as i possibly can and i came to the conclusion that yoimiya is not going to be too far off of hu tao when it comes to dps and the video is still up on my youtube channel if you guys can find it and i got ripped to shreds and i'm talking like paper shredder shreds by some people from the community saying like you have no idea what you're talking about how can you say that and they were in denial they were saying there's no way this new character who at the time seemingly could not even scrape the bottom of dps charts on on paper right in theory essentially how can this character stack up to our pyro queen hu tao and a lot of those people still stand by that to this day right and there's and this was c0 c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 once that was done and over with people moved on to the next character they wanted to shit on which was kokomi and this is again it's just rinse and repeat the same thing over and over again till this day there are people who says kokomi's trash useless absolutely garbage failed character you know they don't see her for what mahoyo is trying to develop her for as opposed to they use her and criticize her based on an old criteria that's been established by older characters who does similar things as the character and this brings us back to my original topic we as a community we as people in general and i understand this is human nature we are very resistant to change and our first instinct for most of us is to question and doubt as opposed to accept and harmonize if that makes any sense right so i'm telling you guys that i will continue making videos giving you guys my input and hopefully over time i can build up my own credibility with you guys and have you understand that when i say something i do my my best to back it up with my own experiences although 
whatever that's worth. I want to make sure that uh, you guys understand with my past record that I not only have faith in Mahoyo's design team, but at the same time, I'm able to question them and bring up concerns when necessary. I'm not resistant to change by default. And I urge you all to take a different approach to this, less hostile, more accepting, but also be wary, be prepared and ask questions. At the same time, be very wary of who it is who is answering all your questions. For example, someone like I Win to Lose might give you a different answer compared to Atsu, compared to Tectone, Emtash, Sekapoko, Gratistatus, Zyox, Braxophone, all these amazing content creators, they have their own takes on the game and you have to collect the image or collect the real truth from a, a, a bunch of segmented opinions, I would say at this point. But what's not cool is people going around shitting on other people's characters characters just because they think that certain characters don't deal enough damage or certain characters don't deal enough damage the way they want them to deal damage is somehow meaning that said character is garbage, bad, irrelevant, or whatever. And there are people who think Ganyu is out of the meta, completely trash, Ayaka, you know, made her absolutely useless, can't be played anymore. Right? These people exist. They're very extremists on all sides of the of the scale here. Right? There are people who says Ganyu is the undiable queen. You'll play Ganyu till the day this game runs into the ground. And I'm going to tell you guys, they're all wrong. Right? The truth is always in the gray area. And people don't want to talk about the gray area because it's mushy. It's difficult to articulate. It's hard to navigate this area to find something more concrete. People just want to say, should I pull? Yes, no. Give me an answer and I'm going to follow through with it but they don't really think about everything that happens in between. With everything that's happened recently, I think it's best we go forward, remaining critical, but at the same time, careful with our decisions and double checking our facts. Right? Don't take one person's words as gospel, of course, me included. So maybe double check what I'm saying in this video as well with what other, I guess, content creators or people of authority say. I mean, I did say I trust Mahoyo's design team, but at the same time, you know, I see how they put Zhongli's uh, character trial with him using his signature weapon with uh, the other two characters providing a super conduct kind of scenario. And then so they're trying to make him a main DPS. Then you go into his artifact. Facts. He's using four piece Middleith set with a 20 something percent crit rate. And what are they trying to do? <laughs> like, it's hard to always trust them when they once in a blue moon pull some stunt like this, being like, do, do you actually know what you're doing with the game? Or you just got some random dude from the streets to, to pair these units together for his uh, <laughs> character trap? Because this makes Zhongli look so bad. But you guys, I, I, I don't know. All right, with that said, thank you guys. I know this video is different from the regular. It's not meta or whatever, speculatory, uh, but I think this message needs to get across and going forward in patch 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, we're going to get a lot more reruns. It's going to be a lot more sparks flying up in the air. So hope you guys are ready for that. It's exciting times ahead of us, but people just remember, don't be an asshole. All right, with that said, keyword of the day is chicken thighs. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. And tomorrow we're going to do summons, all right? Tune into the live stream. Till then, stay safe. Peace, peace.